Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the years, several people have asked me how to number parts, items, name tags, badges. And I have had this for a while, and I just now today uh, actually downloaded and started playing with it. And I drew these name badges out, or name tags, or part part tags, whatever you want to call it, and I drew nine A's across. I center justified them. So when, when basically I'm using a program called Name It, but right now I'm using the program inside it called Number It, because I haven't even looked at Name It yet, and I'm really excited about that. So we're going to take this part, and there's a lot of them, the whole page. And I'm going to go to name it or number it. I typed in the nine A's. My start value is one, one step, just three numbers. I put a part number and then a dash. I put nothing on the other side. And you can actually look at your what your part number is going to look like and, and scroll through. I want to, I don't have to in this case, I want to limit the text space. And I'm going to hit go. Now, this is going to take just a few seconds, but this would take hours. It's having to do them all. So it'll be through in just a second. First time I thought it wasn't working because I did some tests on some smaller ones. But in that short of time, maybe six seconds, it named and put part numbers for 297 parts. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have a use for that, but if somebody's doing some mechanical work on anything, you know, making part numbers for engines or motors or uh, anything, that's pretty cool. So go to Laser Jumpstart. I'm not, I'm not promoting their, well, I am promoting their product, but it's just some really neat uh, software they've come up with, box it and flex it and wrap it that you've seen me do. So look at that. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.